Oh, hey, it's me, Tony. I was just down in the basement. There, There's no basement down there, guys. I was kneeling. I can't lie to you. We have a good relationship. I can't lie to you. It's Today in Nerd History. Today in Nerd History. The internet, the great globalizer, the great democratizer that's made borders disappear. Yes, internet culture has become global culture. So how do you define nations? By their f up weird looking ripoffs of American movies, of course. From the depths of the internet and all corners of the globe, here are the five most messed up ripoffs of American movies. Number five, the Disney of Thailand. Disney might have the most ruthless copyright lawyers in the world. They would throw Walt Disney's frozen head into a wood chipper before they let anyone infringe on their IPs. But the maniacs at Thailand's GM tunes are either fearless or stupid, or judging from their movies, they're probably high out of their minds on bath salts and paint fumes. They've concocted a series of CGI fairy tales that are clear ripoffs of Disney-specific interpretations. But, you know, if they were janky as hell movies that were made in 19th century sweatshop conditions. They've taken Cinderella's beautiful dance animations and turn it into something that looks like The Sims 2 pantomiming sexual intercourse, they've cut seven potential Disney sequels by jumping straight to 108 Dalmatians. Oh, and crammed in some amazingly offensive racial stereotypes while they were at it. But the real star of the show is The Wild King, an LSD trip on a budget ripoff of The Lion King, which itself is a ripoff of Kim of the Lion, except that The Lion King actually put effort into making an enjoyable movie, and The Wild King did, well, well this. Go! You know, I have visited Thailand. I uh, went to a Muay Thai match where I saw a man get his face demolished by elbows and kneecaps, and yet somehow these CG recreations of Disney movies are far more brutal. Number four, Turkish Star Wars. In the 1970s, everybody wanted a piece of the Star Wars action, and in 1982, people still did. Showing up way too late and way, way too many bucks short was The Man Who Saved the World, a Turkish knockoff that's most notable for just straight up playing Star Wars as the background of its own space battles. But surprisingly, beyond that, it has almost nothing to do with the plot of Star Wars. Unless Star Wars had a real f ton of mummies and I just forgot. But Turkey doesn't have a monopoly on Star Wars ripoffs. Brazil's The Tramps and Planet Wars is less of a direct ripoff of Star Wars and more of a parody, which would actually make it kind of a Brazilian space balls if the Tramps hadn't beaten the Mel Brooks classic to theaters by almost a decade. But just because it was first didn't mean it was actually any good. Number three, South Korean Tron. Ah, Tron, Disney's franchise which is so fondly remembered despite it not being very good and no one actually really liking it that much. And no one felt so passionately about a series that they were so dispassionate about than the South Koreans. Just a year after Tron came out in American theaters, South Korea saw the release of Savior of the Earth. Both movies are about someone transported inside of a computer and forced to play live action video games for survival. From weapon frisbees to Cobra Commander looking bad guys, the cartoon almost looks like a shot for shot remake of the original movie. But here's one difference, a lot more Pac-Man. Oddly enough, Savior of the Earth itself was stripped for parts and cobbled together with other Korean ripoffs for the mega garbage sampler platter that is Space Thunder Kids. Number two, Turkish Spider-Man. Possibly the most famous Turkish bootleg ever, Three Giant Men has captivated the internet for years. Focusing on Captain America and legendary Mexican wrestler Santo as they battle the evil Spider-Man, the bonkers plot and wildly inaccurate characterizations have left audiences worldwide asking questions like, what? Why? And seriously, what the fuck? Spider-Man doesn't just have a bad costume, he's also a giant fucking asshole. Watch as he buries a woman up to her neck in sand and slowly pushes a boat propeller into her face. Or here, where he puts a rabid gerbil in a tube and attaches it to some poor schmuck's face. Just like in the comics, Turkish Spider-Man just hates faces. Hates them! Number one, Batmania. Batman's a worldwide sensation, so naturally, ripping off Batman is as well. The Philippines tried to blast out a wet fart of an Adam West-style Batman movie in order to compete with the 1988 Tim Burton version, but still managed to miss the release window by about three years. And somehow, I don't think better timing would have saved this one. Hey, at least they got their own Batmobile. And because Batman was a popular character who existed at any point in Earth's history, you know that there's gonna be a Turkish ripoff as well. Here, Bats and Robs are depicted as flamboyant, legally sanctioned crime fighters who take off their capes to do cartwheels. Oh, also they have lots of sex. Not together though, I mean, you gotta save something for the sequel. No, most of it's just Batman telling Robin to scram so he could get his bat bone on. Mexico also had a knockoff titled Mexican Batwoman, but don't misunderstand, this is not DC's Batwoman character. It's just a female Batman in a bikini. 
Uh, and also she's a pro wrestler. And also there's a sea monster. Also, there comes a point where you have to ask yourself what this has to do with Batman at freaking all. The king of Crap Mountain, however, well, it's gotta be Italian, Batman. Look at this guy. Batman with a mustache, get real. If you're thinking, well, of course, he's Italian, it's the 70s. Prepare for another shock. He's got the big porn mustache because this is an actual hardcore porn. Loosely translated as Batman from Planet Eros, the skin flick does indeed make Batman an alien sent to planet Earth to fight crime and get it on. Sure, it sounds like it's silly enough to make fun of with your friend's mystery science theater style. Some things are best viewed alone. Or better yet, just, you know, never. Wow, guys, it's um, me telling you to like and subscribe, and also me telling you, you know, you're pretty great. I've heard what people have been saying about you. It's not true. You're actually pretty decent. You're actually, you're okay.